YouTube, Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. This Xcode tutorial is on IATs and how to put them in your project and put them in the proper way so Apple does not reject them. Um, now, the reason I'm doing this is because there are also a lot of videos up on YouTube and the IADs were released ages ago, so why, why am I doing it now? Well, the reason is because I've watched a couple of other videos on YouTube and everyone seems to be complaining going, thanks, brilliant code, but the ad isn't showing or Apple keeps de de rejecting it and other comments like that. So I'm going to tell you today how I've done it and how it worked for me. Um, again, it might not work for you. It might be a different reason. I don't know. Um, so I will answer any questions that I can actually answer given to me in the comments. But anyway, let's go ahead and do the app. So I've got a view-based application here called Test IAD. Hopefully I'm not going to blab on a bit because this is supposed to be a very quick tutorial. So first of all, we're going to go into the add view controller.m and I'm going to put in my code snippet. Now I'm going to try and use code snippets a bit more in it, in um, in tutorials now because it stops me from having to stop the tutorial and I can just tell you and show you. So if we drag and drop this in here, we're going to get a load of errors. Now the reason we get a load of errors is because one, it doesn't know what we've declared here is banner and banner is visible, but we're going to declare that later. The main reason I'm showing you this is because of it doesn't know what this method is. And it doesn't know what this method is either. Now, these methods, I'll explain it later when we come to actually doing this part of the tutorial. Um, but basically, these methods are delegate methods and they're uh, made by a different file that controls iads so as you can see add banner view if i go into the dot h here and try and declare an add banner view ib outlet uh outlet add banner view it doesn't know what i'm talking about so i'm going to teach you today in this tutorial why we do all this and why we import this stuff and what basically kind of what delegate methods are so we're going to delete that for now and what we need to do we need to find the file that holds this add banner stuff or the frameworks. So normally we'd go into frameworks, we'd go here, we'd go show in finder, we'd drag them in. That's not how it works anymore. You go to targets and you select test and then you go build phases and you drop down on the link binary with libraries, click add and now we have a nice drop down thing just to search for our framework. Double click on iAd um, and there we go. So iAd's now in our thing in our project. So I'm going to drag and drop it down here to the frameworks thing. So what we need to do, we need to navigate to a certain file in this framework. So I'm going to go to the iAd.h to get the add banner view delegate. So if we go here to the add banner view.h, we don't need to worry about this add industrial one. We're going to go to the add banner view.h and then as you can see, first line pretty much, apart from all this variable stuff up here, um, there is add banner view delegate and that's what we're going to be using in our file up here and as you can see if we scroll down a bit we've got all these other methods uh, and protocols and properties and stuff if we scroll down here you can see our two methods that we're going to be using the void banner view did load and the void uh, the void did fail to receive add with error so as you can see these are where the methods are declared and that's why we need to import it into our project so that's just a quick crash course on where we get those stuff from so that normally people would just tell you to add this into the project but i'm just telling you why we need to add it into the project because it's here in the framework so we go into the test view controller dot h we go hash import open carrot i add to get to the framework then forward slash i add dot h to get to that method in here and then to be able to add the delegate now to add the delegate we just go here to the end of the view controller open carrots and then we type in our delegate we wanted the add banner view delegate there we go now we can use those methods so if we go back here into the dot m we paste our method in you will see that we have less errors because it knows what this method is now and it knows what this method is now so yeah we still have a few errors because we haven't declared this variable yet so that's where we're getting the errors from so i'm going to go do that now so we're going to create a property of a banner view just so we can use it in our uh, interface. So I'm going to create add banner view star a banner. Now the reason I'm calling it a banner is because if we go back here 
in this method here, it declares the banner. So to stop confusion, I'm going to call mine a banner. Next, we're going to create two properties, one for our add banner view and then the other for our bool statement. So the first is going to be our banner view. So non-atomic, comma, retain, and then it's going to be IB outlet so we can use it in interface builder. Make sure you don't forget the IB outlet. Then add banner view, star, a banner. Oops, like that. And then the next property is going to be of our bool. So instead of retain, it's assign, then bool, then banner is visible, like that, visible. There we go. Um, well, the reason we've got these warnings is because we haven't synthesized them. So we're going to go synthesize here at, at synthesize a banner and banner is visible. And then down here, it's going to be uh, a banner release in the dialog method here. Cause so we don't get memory warnings. So we're going to release the banner. Now you can see our code snippet is perfectly fine. Now I'm just going to say before this, this is what Apple gives you in the documentation. So don't think I've made all these methods in this framework or anything. I'm pretty sure you won't think that anyway, but just to let you know, Apple made this. They, they didn't, um, they basically told you how to use this code. They didn't give you the code and just go use it. They, they explain it. So if you go up here to help and go to the documentation, you can often find a lot of stuff on all the stuff you're trying to ask me questions about. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't stop asking me questions because normally that's the best way to get answers. But if you want a tiny bit of help, then just go to the documentation, search what you need. And yeah, anyway, crash course on these methods now. Banner view did load basically is asking or is saying I have an ad, what shall I do? And you're going to say, okay, you have an ad, I'm going to put you on the screen. So you go here, you go UI view, begin animations, animate banner on. You can leave this as nil. This this doesn't really mean anything. It's just letting us know what animation we're using. Context null. Then we're going to go banner. Now remember, banner is declared in a method. And because it's a delegate method, it will apply to every single banner you have on your screen as long as they are connected to the files owner. So if you have seven banners, you only need one method like this because it has the banner and it's a delegate method. So it apply to all banners. So if you have seven banners, don't go create seven of these because banner just means banner overall, just every single banner. This line here basically moves the banner onto the screen wherever it was previously. You don't need to work, up, work out the coordinates or anything. This will automatically do it for you. And if it's landscape or portrait, it will just move it back to where you want it to be. This commits the animations and this just sets the bool statement to yes, to say, yes, it's visible. And this line here just checks to see if it is invisible. Okay, and then this next method here is did fail to receive add with error. So basically, if I can't receive an ad for some weird reason, I'll give you an error. What do you want me to do? Well, there's two options. We can either tell the user that the ad's not working to stop user confusion, therefore letting our app into the app store, or we can move the banner off the screen completely so no one clicks on it and therefore there's no confusion. So this is what I'm doing because there's no point having a, an iAd that's there and doesn't do anything. So this basically is the opposite of this. It moves it off the screen using this method, but without the minus, and then it sets the ball to no again. So any questions on that, just ask me. Uh, I'm kind of running over now. So I'm going to go into the dot, dot .xib. I'm going to set all the viewer, press build, and I'm going to show you. So see you in a minute. All right, guys, we're back here in our app, and it's built. I've just set it up in Interface Builder. And as you can see, our ad isn't showing because what this little thing here is doing, this little pop-up window, is asking me if I'm... A, if they if I want to connect to the iAd sdk.apple.com and that's applying the test ads. Now at the moment I haven't clicked anything, so therefore the iAd that we have in our interface builder can't connect. So it's saying, oh I'm getting an error, I don't want to show myself because you've told not to, therefore it's not there. If I click allow, there's a there you go, it will just appear. So I want to click allow to allow it to show this screen here, and that confirms it's running correctly. Now, there are a couple of reasons why test advertisement won't appear. Now, that could be because Apple are telling it not to appear because Apple sometimes do that. They don't let the ad through so that you can test your code. So if I stop here, I'll be back in a minute when I find a, a, a serious scenario like that. So back in a minute. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, I haven't managed to find a scenario where that can happen. But 
trust me it can so as you can see um, I click deny by accident on something so that's why it's not loading because I clicked deny by stupid me I know so um, basically uh, there are some scenarios that Apple will not supply you with an ad and that might be why it's not showing and another scenario is when you submit it to the App Store and then you download your app you're really happy and then there's no ads or there is an ad there but it's not clickable or anything is because you haven't accepted the iAd contract and you haven't set up your app for iAds so you might have them coded but you haven't said in iTunes Connect yes I want iAds on this app so that might be another reason why uh, even though it works perfectly fine when testing when you submit it you haven't uh, accepted the contracts or told Apple to supply that app with ads that might be why so as you can see I'm gonna click allow here again nope uh, I accidentally clicked deny that's why it's not showing it's not because my codes rubbish it's because I clicked deny anyway um, I'm running really long on this video should only be a short video anyway but I had to explain a lot of stuff Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Code will be in the description. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Bam, on the screen right now. Again, thanks for watching, and see you in my next tutorial.